something specific that you can do with this. Because when you're lying there in your bed debating whether to get up, or when you're going through all of the troubles and all of the difficulties and all of the things that aren't working, when you're putting your attention on what you don't want and you can't stop it and your mind is just this jumble of constant thoughts coming in and coming out. Can you identify with that? It goes on. Almost everybody, every patient I've ever worked with has this kind of thing. There is a way. There is a way. Close your eyes and just right across the screen write the word God. G-O-D. God. The instant that you find yourself putting your attention on what you don't want or what doesn't work or what you don't like, the moment that you do that, God, and then take the G out, move it over to the left, and then take the D out and move it over to the right. And now what you have left is zero. The only number that can't be divided. The only representation of what your return trip is about. You're going back to zero. You're going back to a place of oneness that is indivisible. And then just hone in, just go right into the center of that zero. And then put your thoughts on what it is that you intend to manifest. Just like that. Just like that. In that simple little drill or practical thing that I'm offering you right there, it's what I do. It's how I handle it. I go in there and I was like, I'll be thinking of, oh my God, I gotta get, I gotta fly over here and I gotta get over there and then I've gotta get, I've gotta give a talk and then I've gotta catch this plane and my, my daughter over here and then my, my son is up in school and I don't know what the hell's going on over here. And, I was like, and it's like this jumble and I just go, God. No G, no D, zero. Move into the zero. Go into the place that's indivisible. That's your source. That's your return trip. And in that place, in that perfect, beautiful, soft, gentle, impenetrable place, you will no longer put your attention on anything that you don't want. It is so simple, ladies and gentlemen, this idea that that is at the core of all of our teachings. I've been out there doing this for over 30 years now. Euronia Zones was published 30 years ago. And what I've discovered is what Earl Nightingale told me when I was just getting started in this whole business, when something called the strangest secret. We become what we think about all day long. We become what we think about all day long. But more than that, understanding that your thoughts are real, that they have an impact. Isn't it conceivable that your thought can have an impact on whether or not you can attract what you want into your life? That you can extend it out into a universe which is perfect, which, is, which has no need for you to interfere with it, which is always doing exactly what it is supposed to do. No restrictions on it. And it always has been doing it, and it always will be doing it. And everything that you're going through, it's all part of the perfection of all of this. That you are not any of the things that you've come to believe that you are. You're not what you have, you're not what you do, you're not your reputation. You spent a whole, a whole lifetime working on understanding that. I'm looking at the things that we believed in the morning of our life. What we were taught, what we were told when we came into this world. What you were told was important for you to do. It's important for you to go to school. It's important for you to get good grades. We throw this stuff at our children. We throw it at ourselves. It's important for you to look a certain way. It's important for you to make the team. It's important for you to defeat somebody else. It's important for you to, to make a lot of money, to advance in your profession. It's important for you to be a good daughter, to be a good mother, to take care of your family. It's important for you to have goals. It's important for you to, to figure out what other people are doing and get there ahead of them so that they don't get ahead of you. 
It's important for you to win. I'm just scratching at the surface here of all of these things that we've been conditioned and told. This is what you're here for. This is what it's about. And you bought into it. You, you just hook, line, and sinker. You, we took it. We all did. I did too. We all did. And then you get to a point, and I just share with you this one, one observation from Jung. We cannot live the afternoon of life according to the program of life's morning. For what was great in the morning, what was great in the morning of your life, getting the grades, making the cheerleading team, being a good daughter, getting the gold star, saving your money, getting the job, whatever it is, what was great in the morning will be little at evening. And what in the morning was true, which is a big word here today, what in the morning was true will at evening have become a lie. 